these little guys are nine days old and they're almost fully feathered already. I can't believe how fast these quail grow. It's just amazing to me that in just six weeks these guys will be laying eggs. Crazy. Just like the ones in the house, I'm so amazed at how fast these guys are growing. These are five weeks old, and I've already had to separate uh, out the extra males because they're starting to fight, which means they're starting to hit uh, sexual maturity. They're almost as big as our regular breeders that we have. I want to show you guys a comparison, but again, this is only five weeks old. Can you tell which one is which? This is their old breeder who's probably about six months old and this is the one that's five weeks old. They're almost the same size. Because of the light that I have in here that's on 14 hours a day for these guys, they've been laying crazy all winter long. So today I've got some excess uh, quail eggs. Uh, we're going to go inside and we're going to make some pickled quail eggs. Well, we're back in the house. I have 30 quail eggs that I'm going to hard boil and then make into pickled eggs today. Uh, right now we're only getting about three eggs a day because we only have four uh, quail that are laying right now. But hopefully in a couple day or in another couple weeks, we'll have at least four or five more that we'll be laying, and then I have even more coming up after that. So uh, one nice thing about quail is that they start to lay super early, and so it doesn't take long to build up your numbers. So we're gonna get these boiling today. Now with quail eggs, uh, you only need to boil them for about three minutes. So we'll put them in some cold water. Uh, put them on the stove and then when it gets up to start boiling we'll start a timer for three minutes and then as soon as the three minutes is over we'll move them back to some cold water. So let's get going. So we want to cover the eggs with about two inches of water and we'll get these boiling and again three minutes and they'll be all done. Three minutes once it starts boiling. We're fortunate that this time of year our well water is ice cold so we don't need to worry about putting ice cubes in here. If it was warm or if we still lived in Phoenix we definitely need some ice cubes. We're just going to put these in the ice water and we'll let them cool off. So while we're letting the eggs cool down in the ice water or the cold water uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the pickling solution ready uh, for the eggs. This is a very easy thing to get ready. What we're going to do is we're going to use uh, one cup of white vinegar and one cup of apple cider vinegar. Now in most cases I would recommend using raw apple cider vinegar that still has all the good stuff in it. But because we're going to boil this, we're going to kill it anyway. So just use uh, regular apple cider vinegar, uh, the cheap stuff from the store. So a cup of white apple or a cup of white vinegar and a cup of apple cider vinegar. Uh, then we're going to use uh, one tablespoon of salt. Now on our homestead we use the pink Himalayan salt but you can use 
Now whatever type of salt you normally use, we're going to add two, ta uh, two teaspoons of uh, pickling spices. Uh, you can either buy this at the store or make it yourself. Uh, in our case, we make it ourselves. So this is one, two teaspoons of pickling spices. We're going to use one teaspoon of uh, uh, cayenne pepper or uh, red pepper flakes. And then we're going to use uh, one teaspoon or uh, the equivalent of four cloves of garlic. We're just going to mix that all up and then we're going to take that over to the stove and we're going to bring that to a boil. Now what we're going to do is let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll turn the heat off and then we're going to let this come back down to room temperature. In the meantime, we're going to start peeling all of these quail eggs. Alright, so we have our eggs in our jar, all peeled. It ended up being about 28 eggs because there were two of them that just didn't peel good enough and I ate them. So. Uh, let's take these back over to the counter and we're going to put the pickling solution in the jar. Alright, so we're just going to use a canning funnel. We're just going to pour all of our pickling solution into the jar. Alright, so we've got all of our pickling solution in. We'll just fill the rest up with water. Um, but we mostly want this to be vinegar mixture. So now we'll just put a lid on. And we'll just leave that in the refrigerator for about five days to, to a week. After about five days, they'll be ready to eat. They'll get a little bit, you know, better as time goes on, but these are going to be awesome. Now you can use this same recipe for uh, chicken eggs as well. We love pickled eggs on the homestead. We eat a lot of them. They're a great just kind of snack item. Sometimes you just feel like you need some protein and pickled eggs are a great way to uh, get that quickly. So this is one recipe for pickled eggs. I highly recommend that you try several different recipes on your homestead. Uh, we really enjoy a lot of different recipes. Um, I really like the beet pickled eggs. I'll be honest though that Sarah doesn't. Her favorite are the spicy pickled eggs. Uh, she actually did a recipe about a year or so ago with her favorite recipe. We'll leave a link to that as well. Um, you guys, this is a great way to use up some of the farm fresh eggs that you have on the homestead and it's also a great nutritious snack for your family. The nice thing about this is, as well is that uh, once these eggs are gone you can actually reuse this pickling solution at least one time, maybe even twice, uh, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. Now a lot of people have even uh, fermented their uh, pickled eggs. Uh, that's something we've never tried. If you've tried that, let us know in the comments below because I'd love to try it at some point and I'd love to know what your recipe is. You guys, if this is your first time visiting our homestead and you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who come back every day, I'm glad that you uh, came back again today. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to uh, share this on all of your social media. Follow us on Instagram, and until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care, and God bless.